Well, Barack insane, Obama is back. However, this time he's got a massive trick up his sleeve for the 2022 midterm election. But before I dive into that, check out my partner at hidewithlisa.com. Look, if you guys don't have a VPN, you are missing out. Uh, what a VPN does is it acts as if you are searching on the internet from a completely different computer. So it protects you against hackers, a DDoS attacks, cyber attacks, and even government entities that just want to look at your information. Make sure you get one today and protect the information that you're seeking online. Go to hidewithlisa.com and take advantage of a 30-day free trial and 50% off. All right, so let's dive into this mysterious, devious move by a former president of the United States, Barack Insane Obama. And I say former because well, not really former, because we all know that he's got his hand in the Biden pocket right now, but I digress. Either way, he's got a major twist for this midterm 2020 election. Here's what I'm talking about. Take a look here at uh, NDRC, National Democratic Redistricting Committee. Now, this is a new committee started by Eric Holder, attorney general and really good buddy, if you will, of Barack Obama. What does this organization do? Well, according to their work here at State, the National Democratic Redistricting Committee, chaired by the 82nd AG of the United States, Eric Holder Jr., is the first ever strategic hub for a comprehensive redistricting strategy. Together, we will build a democracy where voters pick their politicians, not the other way around. Now, I'm going to pause right there. Apparently, we already do pick our politicians through the electoral process. However, Attorney General Eric Holder has kicked off this redistricting committee to combat Republicans and Republican voters. He goes on to expand on that. There is no way to put it. Republicans are engaging in an unprecedented effort to undermine free and fair elections, which is completely and utterly false, by the way. That's more of a Democrat thing. But he goes on to say what his approach is, and he, and he dives into that here. He says, Attorney General Eric Holder, with the support from party leaders like, oh, there's the word, President Barack Insane Obama, and House Speaker Nancy Piglosi established the National Democrat Redistricting Committee, a centralized hub to fight for fair maps. Under Attorney General Holder's leadership, the NDRC executed a comprehensive redistricting strategy that included shifting the balance of power away from total Republican control of redistricting, raising awareness of redistricting, and empowering the public to get involved in a fight for fair maps maps and filing lawsuits against gerrymandering unconstitutional maps. The 2021-2022 redistricting cycle was a success due to that comprehensive strategy. Thanks to our efforts to elect Democrats and support redistricting reforms, Republicans started this redistricting process with 20% less control than they had prior decades. Now, let me just hit the pause button right there because there's a lot of things in that little paragraph. He says that he has support from party leaders like Barack Obama, cue the Aaron or raising his head again and getting involved in the 2022 midterm election. And of course, Piglosi there as well, putting her two cents into that. But what Eric Holder is saying here is we're going to take advantage and seize up this redistricting thing that the Republicans are caused or have caused. Well, in, in reality, Republicans did not cause it. In fact, the history of gerrymandering and redistricting and all of that goes back to the Democrat Party. And I've got an entire article that I'm going to show you in just a moment that will literally drop your jaw to the floor. They started these unconstitutional maps, not the Republican Party. But I digress. It goes on to show some of the people that are going to help them uh, uh, get involved at the redistricting level. And here are some of their democracy defenders. I thought we were a republic. But I digress. Here it is. Democracy Defenders. And you're going to recognize some of these faces. Stacey Abrams, tyrant. Uh, we also have tyrant Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Yep, tyrant in chief. Uh, we also have here a few others. Beto O'Rourke, another tyrant. And these are the people that they are capitalizing on and calling their democracy defenders. Now, they go on to talk about who their target is. 2022 democracy targets. The NDRC will play a major role 
role in protecting American democracy by launching an extensive electoral program to defend the state and relevant local level offices critical to our democracy. These are elections for offices that are crucial for protecting and strengthening our democracy, including state Supreme Courts so neutral arbiters remain on the bench. Secretaries of state so top elected officials are committed to conducting free and fair elections as well as governors and state legislators, right? I'm going to hit the pause button again because they keep saying this word free and fair elections yet, yet they do things like gerrymandering and uh, allowing you to vote without an ID. Yeah, that's that's not exactly free and fair. That's very corrupt as can get because if you can't even verify yourself, you know, for for, for voting, then how do you know it's fair, if you will. But they criticize Republicans for doing that. Then they go to say the 17 states uh, that there or some of the states that they're going to be focus on, focusing on right there. Uh, but with that, his little buddy, Barack Obama, is going to, well, hold an entire fundraising event for Mr. Eric Holder, right? Air Q airing his head in the 2022 midterm election. Breitbart.com. Barack Obama hosting Martha's Vineyard fundraiser for Eric Holder's Army of Election Workers. The Army of Election Workers at the NDRC. It goes on to state, former Barack Obama will host a fundraiser for his former Attorney General Eric Holder's redistricting committee on August 30th in a major step forward for Democrats in the midterm. The fundraiser for Holder's National Democrat Redistricting committee will feature a dinner and a discussion about democracy, supporting legal efforts to help Democrats in the 2022 midterm elections, according to Politico's playbook. The event is going to take place at Martha's Vineyard. Uh, now, with that, I want to um, kind of hone in on something here. We already know Barack Obama, A.G. Holder, they're all really good friends. And, and so Barack Obama is going to help A.G.'s redistricting committee by financially supporting them through that fundraiser cue, a major trick for the upcoming midterm election. But here's one thing. Here we have the two of them basically telling the Republican Party that they're the gerrymanderers, they're the problem, they're the ones doing all this. You know, um, unfortunately, and I'm going to say this uh, in, in all legitimacy, the Democrats are constantly blaming the Republicans for things that they've done over and over again. For example, defund the police. That was a movement started by the Democrats. That is a movement still in play by the Democrats, yet they're trying to spin it on Republicans. Not true. Never happened. Not only that, Obamacare, right? Speaking of Obama, Democrats tried to shift blame of the Affordable Care Act on to say that the ACA was, well, it was a Republican plan. No, it wasn't. How about voting rights? Yeah, this week, um, or not this week, excuse me, voting rights are under assault, right? And they completely are. And they constantly say that the GOP is trying to not allow minorities to vote and not allow or, or hindering certain people from voting. But the truth of the matter is, blue states are the most restrictive states for voting, right? But yet they want to blame that on the red party. And last of course, or, or not last, because there's a crap ton of them. I'm just naming a few off the top of my head. Uh, but they also are trying to blame gerrymandering, as you saw with um, Attorney General as um, new kickoff site there, his redistricting committee. They're trying to blame gerrymandering on Republicans when all along, when all along they are the fault, right? I, dem I just... <sighs> Democrats are Democrats. But here it is, The Hill. Democrats created gerrymandering, and they must own it. Amen and amen. And this was published January 17th. It goes on to state, gerrymandering like the KKK, segregation of armed forces, ending of Reconstruction, Jim Crow, current day voting restrictions, and the list goes on, are all all of them creations of the Democrat Party. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, they did all that. It goes on. The so-called attempt to disenfranchise minorities through gerrymandering has the Democrats' DNA all over it. And if you know your history, you'd understand this statement. Full stop. A non-political assertion. The Democrats invented gerrymandering. They absolutely did. It goes on to talk about that. It says the practice of gerrymandering would continue through the late 18th and 19th 
19th centuries, but the method remarkably increased when black men gained access to vote. Democrat-controlled states in the South drew partisan districts to maximize their electoral edge for the white Southern-supported Democrats rather than the black-supported GOP. The tactic arranged for bizarre-shaped sections intended to concrete black voters in one district, thus cementing white majority districts. And that's a Democrat thing that they did. It wasn't until the Republican-appointed Chief Justice Earl Warner ruled that all states' voting districts must have roughly equal populations. Under this ruling, the court also stated that the states must update their federal congressional districts every 10 years and that each of the 435 members represented that same number of citizens. Amen to that. And then it concludes with this as nearly half of all states have approved their new districts based on the latest census. We see more glaring examples of Democrats crying foul while being the primary abusers of the poll politicization of this practice. Look no further than the state of Illinois, where Democrats dominate the process and have historically manufactured figure eight like districts that benefit, you guessed it, the Democrat party. And speaking of that, here's another article, and this is on Data for Progress. A progressive organization redist redistricting is going surprisingly well for Democrats. It looks like if you're a Republican, you're not allowed to do it. But if you're a Democrat, A-okay, kind of like the FBI and our DOJ justice system. One rule for Republicans and another for Democrats. One rule for Antifa, another for uh, J6ers, those who went to J6. Completely politics, political, completely political, but I digress. I'm going on a tangent here. Either way, Barack Obama's back, and he's got a major trick up his sleeve. He's holding fundraisers there uh, for Eric Holder's new committee, which he claims redistricting is just a Democrat. It's just a Republican thing. But the truth is, both sides actually do it. Let's just be honest. But let's also be honest. Democrats are the worst when it comes to that, and they're the ones who created it and started it from the get-go. That is why we now change it every 10 years thanks to a Republican. So it just depends on who is more in charge at the state level on how those maps go. And they change every 10 years. Anyhow, so much information is in this. And by the way, when I say Barack Os insane Obama is back, that's not to discount the point that I do believe he's, he's pulling some of the strings in Biden's administration, but that's my opinion. Anyhow, I love all of you. Um, please get on over to RestrictedRepublic.com. Right now, I'm going to offer you a very good deal. It's an annual rate. So for the entire year, pay it up front, be done for the entire year. Uh, you can get it for $50. Use the coupon code FOREVER50. That's FOREVER50. And that will give it to you for $50 forever, for life, as long as you have it. Um, and this is amounts to three dollars and some odd change per month it's actually the cheapest deal we've ever had so if you want to sign up for restrictor republic now is the time i just published uh, this video uh, trudeau installing weapon armories and interrogation rooms for a new climate police force you guys are going to want to hear that uh, justice knight put out some crazy stuff in there as well i've got clay clark talking about biden's, uh, biden's death blow you're going to want to get on there and get this ex anyhow uh, with that, I love all of you. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.